This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. Hormones. The endocrine system is composed of numerous glands that produce and secrete chemical messengers in the blood. These messengers are called hormones and they help to regulate various processes in the body. After they are secreted into the blood, they are carried to their target cells and organs. Hormones act more slowly than neurons in the nervous system, but they work for longer periods. Some hormones such as sex hormones even act for years. Neurons, on the other hand, act for a few seconds to a few minutes. Once they have been used, hormones are sent to the liver where they are destroyed. Why don't you try our free course in A or app? Download now from where you get your apps or go to our website, hollow12.com. Endocrine glands. There are many types of endocrine glands in the body and they perform different roles. This endocrine gland present at the base of the brain is the pituitary gland. It is the master gland of the body as it regulates the secretions of all the other endocrine glands. For example, the pituitary gland produces thyroid-stimulating hormone or TSH that stimulates the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is present on the front side of the neck. It produces the hormone thyroxine that controls how much energy the body uses, that is, the body's metabolic rate. A small endocrine gland is present on each kidney. These are adrenal glands. The adrenal glands produce the hormone adrenaline that is released when you are under stress. It is responsible for the fight or flight reaction. Don't worry if you don't know what this means. We will discuss this later in the unit. You may already know that the pancreas secretes digestive enzymes that aid in the digestion of food. But, the pancreas produces hormones too. The pancreas produces two hormones, insulin and glucagon. These two hormones control the level of glucose in the blood. We will discuss this later, once we have discussed all the endocrine glands. Other endocrine glands come in pairs, unlike all the others we just discussed. The ovaries and testes are examples of this. They are reproductive organs but also perform as endocrine glands too. Ovaries are present only in females and produce the female sex hormone, estrogen. Males don't have ovaries, but they have testes. Just like ovaries, testes are also reproductive organs that perform endocrine functions as well. The testes produce the male sex hormone, testosterone. Go to our website, hollow12.com, to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links, and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.